Hi everybody, Casey Zander here. Now, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to make a super in-depth video on monkey branching. And for any of you who are seeing a specific, you know, woman consistently, or you notice pullbacks from time to time, or you notice all of a sudden loss of interest, I want to show you specifically how to know if your girl or your girlfriend is monkey branching to new men probably seeking attention and starting new relationships. Okay, because of this, I'm making this video extremely in depth. And if you stay with me until the end of the video, I'm even going to show you how to handle this. But in order to know how to handle it, you have to actually see it coming and not be naive. Now, real quick, before we begin, quick announcement. Okay, we have around 90 some seats left inside the MBT masculinity blueprint until we close enrollment. I've said this on a few videos now, but we have a couple quick links below. I highly recommend checking that out after you see this video because of the life changing transformations I have seen in 1000s of men's dating lives since this has been in existence now for over three years. So I want to make that well known. Yes, that is a promotion. Let's dive in. I'm making this to help all of you, okay? The very first thing that you're going to notice from a woman who is monkey branching to new relationships away from you is going to be attention-seeking poses on Instagram or any sort of social media. This is going to be where the face is probably all dolled up, the back is arched in specific photos to emphasize curves, the mirror selfies have kissy lips in order to demonstrate some sort of seductive poses. You're going to be able to spot it when you see it. And the reason why you'll be able to spot it when you see it is because you will get an internal tingle, okay? You'll get an internal sense where you know what's going on. And because you know what's going on, there's gonna be two split decisions, okay? Your internal gut instinct, number one, is the one you have to listen to. The spidey sense is when they tingle, that means it's probably correct, right? That woman is pulling away. The second though is the logical mind. The logical mind based off of the world and how society views stuff like this is you're gonna ask yourself the questions, well, am I just being insecure? Well, am I just nervous? Don't listen to any of that. You know in your heart of hearts when something right is going on versus when something wrong is going on. And when something wrong is going on, you have to spot it. So number one, you're going to notice attention seeking poses. This is of the physical, this is of the body. This is demonstrating cues of being single or demonstrating cues of signaling to potentially get a higher value male. Number two, when you confront the second thing you're gonna notice is playing dumb on purpose, okay? What does playing dumb on purpose mean? Well, that means when you have conversations about this or you say, you know, why are you doing things like that? If you decide to do that, right? When you have this, you're gonna notice that the, the girl you're dating is going to start to play dumb. What do you mean? I just took those photos because I thought I looked cute. I just took those photos because me and my friend uh, wanted to do a shoot. What do you mean? Right, if it's, uh, if it's Snapchat or if it's text message, it's gonna be things like, ugh, don't be so insecure, he's just a friend. Ugh, we've known each other for so long. Ugh, I can't believe you'd think I'd ever uh, cheat on you or pull away. Right, you're going to notice lies, perception changes, and manipulation. Now, here's the reason why this happens, okay? Oftentimes, guys will get in this mindset like, oh, you know, that, that chick is evil, right? There's, that's evil, that's rude. That's like, the reason why they're hardwired like that is because, well, men oftentimes handle things like logically or of the physical, okay? Women oftentimes handle things through perception of the psychological, right? It's just two different hardwirings. So, like, it, there's nothing different about the one that you're dating. It's just that is the nature, right? Just like if you put, you know, a, a girl in front of a guy who is shaped, you know, really curvy with, you know, soft skin and an hourglass figure, you're going to notice that hardwiring, like they're all kind of attracted to that. You're going to notice the hardwiring of these things in reverse. So just keep that in mind. You're going to notice playing dumb on purpose. Okay, number three, you're gonna notice stretches for hours where she's missing in action, MIA. That could be, oh, I'm partying at this person's house, I'm partying at that person's house, I, I'm too uh, drunk to drive home, you know, things like that. If you notice this behavior, once again, the spidey senses are going to start to tingle. And last but not least, the, t the thing that I see time and time again 
is when the woman that you're dating has a strong interest all of a sudden to get fit or get into better shape than she once was through the relationship. You're going to notice also a manipulation play. She's gonna be saying things like, I don't feel confident in my body, I don't feel confident in my skin, I want to feel more confident, I want to look better, I want to feel better. I'm also doing this for us, so that way I look better for you. You're gonna notice all these language plays. However, if you watch the language, oftentimes the actions don't reciprocate, and if you do follow that, you're going to be left with pain. So actions always, words never. Just even take notes on this and ingrain it into your mind if you have to. Now I have a line below this, okay? And the line below this, the next point I want to make is that you're gonna notice the girl starts to care about the opinion of her friends far more than you, okay? You're going to notice the drama or the gossip bleed in to your day-to-day -day communication. Before it probably was never like that. Now what's going to happen is you're going to notice an entanglement of your life with that outside life and your relationship that you have with that woman with all of a sudden the relationships of the friends. And you're gonna notice all of a sudden there's more gossip and on top of that, while there's more gossip, you're gonna notice a subtle nitpicking of you. What's a nitpicking of you? I'll give you an example. Let's say you're, let, let's say you, you, you're getting ready to go to the gym, okay? And let's say you put on a shirt and let's say it's maybe a shirt like a gym shirt that you've had for like quite a few years. You're gonna just notice like if, if, she, if she says something like, ugh, you're actually gonna wear that? You're gonna be sitting there scratching your head going, well, I've wore this shirt for a hundred times and no one's ever cared or said anything and I think it looks good, but all of a sudden now you think it looks bad. You're gonna to start to get these subtle cues of like nitpicking at you and you're not even going to understand why they're coming from. All that's trying to happen is she's trying to get an emotional reaction out of you, lowering the perceived value of yourself in her mind, especially if you become reactive, and all of a sudden it validates her opinion that you are no longer a viable option when it comes to the reproductive playing field, okay? So, what can you do about this? You might be listening to this video, you're sitting there thinking, oh man, Casey, if I'd have heard these red flags or if I'd have seen these red flags a long time ago, I'd have been so much off in a better off position, okay? I get that. All you can do if you see this is just dissolve the relationship. Like that's gonna be a tough pill for a lot of you guys to swallow, but you cannot talk about these things logically. Like you can't ask the woman to stop doing them. You can't ask her why she's doing them. And you, here's why, you're not going to get a straight answer. Like they just don't do it. They don't answer things ever. They just don't. So like here, here's the way you can cause a perception change in yourself to be okay with that. If you're apprehensive about dissolving a relationship, here, here's the one thing that I've lived by my whole life, okay? If you're, if you're putting in all of this work in the front end to attract a specific companion, right? You have to learn how to engage in speaking in the ways of the feminine. That would mean like flirting, giving emotional spikes, right? being indirect with your game, subtly giving gestures that show you're good at playing the game. All of this is so important. If you're willing to do that, to go to those lengths, to attract the woman, if the woman wants to retain the man in the relationship, what's going to have to happen is that from time to time, the communication on that companion's end that you're dating is going to have to change to fit the frame of how you speak. That means direct communication from time to time is needed. If, if the woman that you're dating can't do that, no matter what, and puts in zero effort to learn or to understand how you as a fully grown adult communicates as a man, it's not a relationship for you. So just dissolve it. You're never going to get a straight answer out of them, okay? When you dissolve it, I'm giving you a fair warning right now. When you dissolve it, there will probably be lots of tears on her end, and here's why. She'll act like the, like the dissolving of the relationship came out of nowhere. She'll act like it's your fault. She'll say things like, how could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? And you're gonna be sitting there thinking, well, I, I haven't seen the right treatment or expectation that I have for weeks or months now. Why do you act as if this is coming out of nowhere? Once again, you're not going to get a straight answer. You're just not. 
Your time is better spent finding higher quality companions that don't do that. I really hope that this video hits home because quite frankly, if you felt that you resonated with the points that I just made, this is only the tip of the iceberg compared to what you'll experience inside of MBT. Okay, MBT stands for Masculine Behavioral Techniques. And brand new for 2022, I just shot a brand new webinar end to end to show you the four keys of MBT so you can master female dynamic once and for all. And this is not some woo woo self help tactics. These are things that when you ingrain into who you are and your persona will last in your dating life forever. So that way you are never dumped, heartbroken, cheated on. You're consistently engaging in the type of companions that you've always wanted to, getting good attraction and positive reactions, and ultimately keeping them for as long as you wish. So because of that, it is well worth it to you. That's number one. Number two, any additional one-to-one -one coaching, I do have a book a call link. We have about three seats open right now for May. And because of that, I definitely advise clicking that too if that's something of interest. So guys, hit the like button, okay? Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.